Okay, got something new today. This is something that can't be bought everywhere. And I'll explain a little bit more here in just a second. This, I just ordered two days ago and I've already got it. Uh, this is um, ceramic wick. And it's supposed to be a lot better uh, as far as wicking up the e-liquid and um, lasting longer it's supposed to be a better vape now this is off of their display page I'll show you this while I'm getting into it they said that this is actually good for up to 2600 degrees uh, peak And here they'd actually dipped it in. Uh, here they actually dipped it in um, motor oil, and uh, are using a torch to clean it. They said it was old, nasty motor oil. I'll put a link to this video in the the description below. But here it is. Uh, I got two feet of it, and I think it was like sixteen dollars or eight dollars, something like that. I don't remember. Uh, it I've slept since then, but uh, it looks like just regular old wick wire to me. But you see what it's capable of doing. They're using map gas right there to clean it, and uh, he had dipped it in some old motor oil out of one of his vehicles. Let's see here he's actually torching it even more and it's turning right back white just like it was when he started out. Now uh, we actually heard about this from a lot of our uh, people that we talked to in the Middle Tennessee Vape group and I decided it'd be a good idea to give it a shot just to see because if it works that much better than cotton I'm all for it. One thing they stress all over their page though, product must be in the United States of America. It's illegal to export this product outside of USA. Failure to comply with this regulation may result in fines and penalties up to and exceeding $750,000 per infraction. And then they want you to tell on people. Well, I'm in the States. It isn't going anywhere. I'm going to use this myself, so no worries there. But we'll give this a shot and see what it works like. But there's the, the website, rbasupplies.com. Uh, of course, if you're out of the country, they're not going to ship it to you. Um, I've not seen or heard a whole lot about this yet, but it seemed like a feasible enough option for me to try. Hopefully it'll make a huge difference. I don't know yet. We'll give it a shot and see. Okay. Now I cut me off a small wick <clears throat> to run in this uh, Hannah Mod of mine, the Hannah Mod clone. And one thing I can tell you for a fact, um, I've been told you have to kind of get it wor uh, worked in, burn it up, burn it until it actually runs, or until it actually uh, vapes the liquid like you want it to. <clears throat> you have to get it going, keep it going for a while. Now, I just started with this, probably. 30 45 minutes ago and I'm noticing that I'm having to run this thing on 30 watts this is a 0.6 ohm coil and I gotta run it all the way on 30 in order to get it to to vape anything like what the cotton was <clears throat> I'm hoping 
that uh, eventually it does expand or whatever it does to burn itself in properly and just takes off from there. Uh, the flavors it's kind of a a more honest flavor out of this than what you get out of cotton you got all that extra stuff even if you boil the cotton you get the all that extra I don't know like the burn flavor when the the cotton starts getting worn down um, I don't know I don't, I don't know how to describe it really but with this uh, ceramic wick it actually uh, all you tasting is just the the e-liquid you're not tasting the cotton or the uh, like if you use wire mesh you're not tasting that uh, my coil in this one is pretty well used I've, I think I'm on a month with this uh, 4 wrap 24 gauge uh, coil and it's at like I said it's at point six and it's it's doing fine not redoing the coil at all it's the same coil I just pulled the cotton out of it and put my ceramic wick in there in place of it and so far it's doing okay but like I said there's to even get near the the flavor out of the liquid I'm having to run it at the full 30 watts right now um, I don't know if that's going to change later but if it does I'll hop back on here and let you know that's all for now though uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a great day